All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. So the last one was Linux Fundamentals Part Three. Today we're gonna do Windows Fundamentals One. Sorry, reset it. Let's get right into it. Uh, I already started the attack machine, so I'm gonna show the split view in a sec. So as always, uh, read through the tasks so you un get an understanding of the fundamentals. And um, yeah, these uh, rooms or modules are really easy to understand if you read through them step by step. So task one is introduction to Windows. There's nothing much is answer your questions below, read above and start the virtual machine. All right, let's go to task two, Windows edition. Talks about different editions. And it says, what encryption can you enable on Pro that you can't enable on Home? So as you read through this task, it talks about Windows 10 comes in two flavors, Home and Pro. You can read the difference between the Home and Pro here. So open to new tab. Very easy, talks about the difference. And so you see the first one is BitLocker. Let's see if this is correct. Cool, all right. Let's close this out. In this task, task three, the desktop GUI. Talks about the graphic user interface, read through it. I'm just going to show you guys how to answer these questions below. So it talks about taskbar notification area. All right, answer your questions below. Which selection will hide and disable the search box? Let's go to split view. As you can see, talks about the search box. I believe it is. Where's the search box at? There you go. It's this one. So you right click on the taskbar and which selection is hidden. Awesome. It says which selection will hide and disable the task view button. And it's actually this one, show task view button. Show task view button. Awesome. It says besides the clock and network, what other icons visible in the notification area? Hit try right clicking the icon. So actually, as you read through this task, you should, on the last end of the task, you should right click the notification area, talks about. So as you can see, it talks about notification area contains icons you might find yourself selecting or pressing pretty often. So battery, Wi-Fi, volume, clock and calendar, and action center. And as you try all the answer is actually action center. Yeah. So task four talks about the file system. Let me close this out. So it talks about NTFS, new technology file system, FAT1632, HPFS. And the question, there's only one question, so what is the meaning of NTFS? I'm just gonna copy and paste. You go back up, new technology file system. Bam. All right, next task, task five, the Windows system 32 folders. So it talks about the directories and the files and the um, local disks. 
system 32 and answer your questions below what is the system variable for the windows folder as you read through in the beginning and this is where it talks about the system environment variable for windows directory is this highlighted part copy and paste there you go done task six users accounts profiles and permission so the question is what is the name of the other user account so let's go right here start menu and type other user so type other user and it pops up this one let's try at me click on it and it says since you're administrator you see the option to add someone else so it pops this thing up all right so let's go to the question what is the name of the other user account as you click on it as you read through it it's right here it's called try at me billy let's try it yes and it says what groups is this user a member of so you can see these tasks the first one's member of so it's a remote desktop users and users yes and what built-in account is for guest access access to the computer obviously so as you read through it says built in for guest access to the computer as guess what is the account status and as you read the tab tab the status is account is disabled let's try it Awesome. Uh, let's clear this out. I like to clear everything out before I move on to the next task. So task seven, user account control. Talks about the control, Wireshark. So there's only one question. What does UAC stand for? obviously user account control as you read through the task and should we go yeah so task eight settings and the control panel is so it talks about how to go to control panel and for this one's very easy click start and the control panel is right here and uh this should look something like this and it just talks about how to go access the control panel and the question is in the control panel change the view to small icon what is the last setting in the control panel view so it talks about change the view small icons and the last setting is windows defender firewall Awesome. Task nine. Let me close this out. Talks about the task manager, how you get from there, right click and task managers right here. Talk about more details, view more details. And the question is, what is the keyboard shortcut to open task manager? As you read through this task, he says you can refer to this blog post, talks about task manager, right click, and it says complete guide. Now, as you read through it, it says, what is the keyboard shortcut? So it says offer many ways to launch the taskbar. So right click again, 
There's seven ways. Let's try the first one. Control. No. Okay. Uh, second one. Control Shift Escape. That's the quickest way. Bam. There you go. Cool. And then task 10. Nothing much. Just terminate this room. Complete. And there you go, guys. Uh, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I share all mines in LinkedIn. And number two, I'm going to reset it. That's it. So I hope this video find helpful. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below to help me improve these videos. Um, just to let you know, guys, I have no IT experience, but this is something I actually like doing. So uh, currently, I am CompTIA TIA certified in A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pentest+, and Security+, and I did IFT+, just for fun. Um, that's why I've been doing the for, actually, the this past year, beginning of the year, since last August, and uh, I'll probably do some videos how I show you guys how to pass these uh, CompTIA certification tests. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, till the next video for Fundamentals Part 2. Peace.